What's up everybody, Steve here. I hope you're doing well. I came across an article that pretty much pisses me off. And if you guys are active or retired military, I hope that you guys pay attention to this. And also, if you guys know anybody that's active or retired military, please pass this video along because I think that this right here is just one other thing that shows how messed up our system truly is. So this article goes on to say the house passes a bill to modernize VA appraisals and check it out. This is called the champion bill, which awaits passage in the U S Senate. <clears throat> Before I get into this, I want you to start thinking, why are they trying to pass this right now in today's climate when the real estate market has peaked and I foresee the real estate market is going to correct and or crash in a lot of different areas. Why is this bill being passed right now? So obviously I'm going to talk about why I believe, but I want you to ponder that as we go through this article. The U.S. House of Representatives this week passed a bill that streamlines the appraisal process for U.S. Department of Veteran Affairs uh, for mortgage loans, known as the Improving Access to VA Home Loan Benefit Act of 2022. VA is now permitting desktop appraisals and some circumstances waiving appraisals altogether. This is dangerous, okay? Now, what is a desktop appraisal? Basically, it's somebody sitting at a desktop, maybe not even from this country, and they're analyzing the comparable properties around it, but never actually getting inside, never even going to the outside of the property physically. And then also, in some cases, waiving appraisals altogether. Critics have long complained VA appraisals had to be performed in-house, which has resulted in a costly and slow process for veterans and service members. That's absolutely true. I believe that things do take longer when it comes to getting a VA loan, and that does need to be changed, does need to be altered, and it should have been altered a long time ago, not right now in the height of a real estate market. It should make veterans more competitive home buyers, said the Mortgage Bankers Association. The bill will encourage important reforms to the agency's requirements regarding when an appraisal is necessary, how appraisals are conducted, and who is eligible to conduct an appraisal. And that's the president and the CEO of the Mortgage Bankers Association. This legislation is an important step toward broad modernization of VA appraisal processes and can make veterans' home purchases offers more viable in today's competitive housing market. The bill will make sure that veterans are not unfairly disadvantaged during the home buying process and allow for their, a modern digital appraisal process, which get, can get them into their new home faster. In late July, the VA announced it would accept desktop and a exterior only appraisals on some transactions. Okay, why is this dangerous? This is dangerous because you're getting a valuation of a property without even accessing the property. Now, I could buy a property that from the outside looks great. It looks like all the other properties in the neighborhood, but if I step foot into it and without pictures, how do they even know? If I step foot into it, it could be a complete disaster and it could cost hundreds of thousands of dollars to get that property up to par with all the other comparables in the neighborhood. So why do I think this is happening right now? For one thing, they should have revamped this entire process decades ago. But why are they doing it right now? To me, it's the Mortgage Bankers Association and all the mortgage and lenders lobbying Congress because why? Because freaking nobody is getting loans these days because the real estate market is crashing. The real estate market is in pure destruction right now with mortgage rates rising and the cost of housing so high. So they're trying to do everything possible to scramble and lobby Congress in order to create more loans out there. And this is just one avenue that unfortunately, I think veterans who are not watching this video are going to get themselves into trouble by saying, you know what, now I can actually buy a property you know, the VA is making it easier to get loans, the appraisal process is easier and so forth. Now, what I think they should do in terms of revitalizing the VA loan program, for one thing, yes, they should set VA loans a priority. So they should be able to have a mandatory timeline turnaround in terms of 
when the lender actually uh, orders the appraisal and a deadline of getting that appraisal back and underwritten of the property for one thing. I do not believe in doing any desktop appraisals. I think that's a thing of the past. A lot of it was related with COVID with people coming into people's homes and I get it. There was a lot of people that were scared but doing desktop appraisals is not a good thing because Ultimately, we just do not know the condition of the inside of the property. And unfortunately, without somebody actually stepping foot and walking through the property, there's things that even inspectors are going to miss. And there's a lot of things that, you know, it could cost hundreds of thousands of dollars to get that property inside up to comparable properties in the neighborhood. So right off the bat, somebody could be at a disadvantage and almost in a negative equity position if they had to sell their property right away. So I do not believe in exterior uh, appraisals or desktop appraisals because people, you know, uh, bank reps need to get in there. Also, I think ultimately the, the appraisal needs to be compensated by the VA altogether. I think our veterans have risked their lives for our country and I don't think that veterans active or retired should be on the hook for an appraisal if they wanna buy a property. So I think that that's another thing as well. Um, Unfortunately, this right here, and I will put the link in the description for you guys, this is not the right strategy to help our veterans. This right here is going to get veterans into trouble. And uh, unfortunately, if certain veterans are taking advantage of buying right now um, and buying with basically no money down, and if they're paycheck to paycheck and something happens, they could be in a negative equity position. So you're going to see this kind of stuff plastered all, all over mainstream media where they're going to encourage veterans to get out and buy a property right now. But these people will unfortunately be buying at the top of the market when our market is decreasing, declining in value. So please uh, take a look at the uh, link in the description and also pass this video along if you guys know anybody that's active or retired military. And as always, we are super grateful for every person that's in uniform protecting our country. And uh, thanks for being here.